Welcome, welcome, wonderful people. We are in a breathtaking journey throughout the jewel of South America. Once again, Venezuela, considered to have some of the most beautiful beaches in the whole world. In this opportunity, we find ourselves in the mesmerizing National Park Morocoy, where nature's wonders intertwine with pristine beaches, creating a tropical paradise like no other. So get ready, as in this video, I'll show you a bit more of this incredible paradise in the Caribbean, specifically in Venezuela. So we started this trip taking a speedboat from the small port of the small village of Tucacas in the state of Falcón and it took us roughly 15-20 minutes in the speedboat to arrive to our first point which is Cayo Sombrero and I mean look at how beautiful is the color of the water, it's very peaceful a scenario here incredible there are no words to describe and yes this is a speedboat that our friend uh, Lendos, but actually you can rent them from there, from the small port of Tucacas in the National Park Morrocoy. Um, yeah, the prices they range from $200 depending on how many people you are, up to $1,000 depending if you go, want to take like a big, big boat or a yacht. So yeah, I mean, uh, it's really, really beautiful. The whole way you see all the manglars and all the vegetation, palm trees, it's really beautiful. I highly recommend it to come to the National Park Morocoy. So yeah, let's continue exploring. So for a sort of brunch, breakfast, lunch, we took arepa, which is uh, the national dish from here in Venezuela. And this is actually made of cazón, which is a small shard that can be found in the sea of Venezuela in general. So yeah, let me try it. Mmm, really tasty. A bit salty, but really, really tasty. Have you ever tried shark before? Look, because if you haven't, you can do it here in Venezuela. The price of the arepa is very reasonable. We paid for each arepa roughly two US dollars. So yeah, in the restaurant La Mallorquina, which is on the way to the port that we took our speedboat speed from. So yeah, really reasonable, two dollars for this amazing dish. So look at the color of this water, guys. It's just so crystal clear. It's beautiful. Highly recommend Cayo Sombrero. I think it's my favorite Cayo. You know, Cayo is these little islands that uh, make the National Park Morocco. Just beautiful. Just a lot of people in their boats, in the speed boats, just enjoying the beautiful weather that Venezuela offers. You can have drinks, bring your own drinks, or you got services as well, like a small restaurants. Um, you can hire chairs, sun umbrellas, everything. Highly, highly recommended. The National Park Morocco. And this is our first stop, Cayo Sombrero. So here I got my friend uh, Jody, he's visiting Venezuela. So I want to know his impressions. He's from Italy and he's here in the beautiful National Park Morocco. So what Hi, do you think, Jody? Oh, I think he is amazing here. He's another level, another level compared to to La Margarita, which was already amazing. But here is simply look the, just the color of the water around, surrounded by all this green palm tree everywhere. It looks like really wild, uh, amazing at the same time. Oh, amazing! It's really good. Thank you so much for visiting Cheers. Venezuela, Jody. <laughs> <laughs> So as Jody was saying, look all this vegetation, all the palm trees, it feels very well and opposite to that you got all this beautiful sea. You can see even you know the small corals because of the color of the water is so crystal clear that you can appreciate pretty much everything. The vibe is just very relaxing. I mean thumbs up for Venezuela in general is very beautiful. But their beaches has nothing to envy to places like uh, Mexico, Maldives, Aruba, I mean, they got here everything in Venezuela.
For our second stop after Cayo Sombrero, we arrived to Cayo Pescadores, which is another popular Cayo, let's say small little island of the National Park Morocoy. And this one is popular because the people come basically in the big boat or in the yacht, for example. Um, because the water levels are very low, you can walk very easily to, while enjoying this paradise. At the background you go also a little, 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 little island in which you can go as well. And on the other side you go, you know, all the umbrellas um, in this island which is Cayo Pescadores. And you know, the people enjoy all the facilities while enjoying a very relaxed day by the beach. So really, really amazing choice so, so obviously if you got your own that uh, speedboat you can go around all the national park morocco or you can do is that you go to selected islands and the prices depends on how far there you go in here as well instead of a street vendors you go the sea vendors so they come to your a speedboat and they offer you different kinds of foods like oysters, lobsters, pretty much everything you want. Really cool. <laughs> so as I was saying, instead of a uh, street food vendors, in here you got the seafood vendors. So you come to your, they come to your uh, boat or speedboat or yacht and they offer you different kinds of food. So here my friends are eating. Um, seafood I'm allergic so I cannot really eat it but you can have octopus yeah maybe I will have octopus later so yeah really really cool and the price is depending on what you get so once one reaches you then the other ones start to come as well <laughs> so lots of them so you see you go like for example ceviche prawns uh, octopus a bit of everything <laughs> Oh, and here is my free trial. <laughs> this is octopus. Mm. Really, really good. For oysters as well. So as I was saying, the prices depend on what you get, but obviously you have to negotiate. At the beginning, he was charging us pretty much 25 US dollars for, you know, a mix of everything, and we managed to negotiate to 15 US dollars so you got to always negotiate here in Venezuela for everything so this is the plate wow so delicious unfortunately I cannot eat much of the prawns because I'm kind of allergic as I said before don't worry I will look but after he will them. eat them all <laughs> <laughs> The octopus is another level, it's really really good. And remember, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you give a like, you subscribe to the channel and you activate notifications in order for you to discover more amazing places like this. For our third stop here in the National Park Morocco, we have arrived to Cayo Los Juanes, which is another popular spot here in the National Park Morocco and in Venezuela in general. It's because of the fact that actually there is no beach here. It's just a massive sandbank in which people come with their speedboat that uh, in general, and basically they are like in the middle of the sea, as you can see. There is just the vegetation in the middle and everything else is sea, but you can walk because it is a massive sandbank so it is you know especially for families with the small children you're enjoying all the beautiful uh, seaside without having to swim very much so it's really really nice usually on the weekends it gets so busy with so many so many so many boats uh, people with their own music you know making like a big party here in Cayo Los Juanes it is a very very relaxed environment you know people just enjoying the sun swimming walking around this beautiful uh, cayo really really nice for our last stop here in the national park morocco we came to playa azul which is one of the most beautiful here in the national park morocco and as its name says it is called blue beach 
and it is definitely one of the most pleasant keys. Although it is very small, it's quite cozy with calm and crystalline waters. I hope you can see it from the video because it looks even better in person. After a long day in the beautiful National Park Morrocoy, we were extremely hungry so we went to the same place that we took the arepas from in the morning, the restaurant La Mallorquina. In this opportunity, we took seafood and I took for myself a fried fish, red snapper, which was absolutely delicious, accompanied by salad and fried plantains. Definitely, I recommend it and it was as little as 10 US dollars per dish, so definitely I highly recommend it. And which one is your favorite part of this video? Which one is your favorite part of the National Park Morrocoy? Let us know in the comments below, active your notifications and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will be seeing you in the next video. Travel wonderful!